There's still lots to learn about the input element, like additional types and additional related attributes, and more. In this video, we look at types File, Color, Range, Hidden, and Image, along with attributes Multiple, Except, Min, Max, and Step. And how does the POST method work? Let's find out. Input type equals file. One of the useful things about forms and controls is you can use them to identify files that you want to have uploaded to the server. Maybe you have an application form and you want to have a photo of the person applying or their resume. Maybe you want to hear a demo song or see a video. You can include an input element of type equals file and when the form is submitted, the file selected with this element will be uploaded to a temporary directory on the server and your CGI will be passed the name. Then the CGI can decide how to handle the file. For file type input elements, you must not code the value equals attribute. This will be filled in with the chosen file name as part of the submit process. Example, paragraph. Select a picture for the gallery. Input type equals file name equals gallery, end paragraph. It displays this way in Microsoft Edge, like this in Opera, Chrome, and the UC browser, and like this in Firefox. So these all generate a button labeled Browse or Choose File. The user should click on this button and they'll see a dialog for selecting files, maybe something like this using Firefox for our discussion. So here you're at the default start location. Next, you navigate to the directory where your file resides, maybe here. And when you select a file, you see something like this. So the dialog has gone away and the name of the chosen file is displayed next to the button. When you submit the form, this is the name that will be sent to the CGI. You can limit the list of available file names to choose from by coding the accept attribute. This attribute allows you to identify file types and or file extensions that you are considering for this input element. Some examples accept equals audio slash asterisk will give you a list just of sound type files. Accept video slash asterisk will give you a list of all video type files except image slash asterisk, it will consider all image files. So that's JPEGs or GIFs or BMPs, all the different file types for images. You can accept equals dot PDF and that will consider only file names with a PDF extension. Or your accept can have a list of extensions like dot doc, dot docx, dot text. It will consider file names with any of these extensions. So for example, if you specified accept equals video slash star, you might see the following. So you'll notice there's only five files and their uh, extensions are video type extensions. While if you coded accept equals dot text comma dot CSS for the same directory, the list might look like this. So you see our file names all end in txt or css. You can mix and match. For example, accept equals dot text comma audio slash asterisk will display the list of all files with a dot txt extension and all files with extensions that fall into the audio category, such as mp3 or wav and so on. You can allow the user to select multiple files. You include the multiple attribute. It's a Boolean attribute. And you should code the name value followed by brackets to indicate an array. For example, paragraph attach the relevant legal documents, br. Input type equals file, multiple, name equal docs, bracket, bracket. Except equals dot text, comma, dot pdf, comma, dot doc, comma, dot docx. And input and 
paragraph. This displays the expected dialog. You see multiple files by holding down, you select multiple files by holding down the control key while you select the file names, then click the button labeled open in the dialog. After you've made your selection, you might see something like this. Notice that instead of listing the file names, the message just tells you how many files were selected. Note, we mentioned multiple as a valid option for type equals email in the last video, but forgot to mention that then the name equals attribute should also be like an array, that is, the following brackets. Input, type equal color. This option allows you to specify a color value to be sent back to the server. The element displays as a button. In Opera, Chrome, Edge, and the UC browser, it looks like this. In Firefox, it looks a little constricted. When the user clicks the button for Opera, Chrome, Firefox, and UC, the color dialog is displayed. Here, you can click on one of the basic colors or click on the multi-hued image, or select values from the hue, sat, and lum, or select values for red, green, and blue, values between 0 and 255, or slide the triangle shape on the right. Then select OK, and the color will be saved as a number in hexadecimal in the value attribute of the input element. For Microsoft Edge, however, you get a different dialog where the three bars are sliders that you move to get to the combination that designates the color you want. The resulting color shows in the box at the bottom. Click the check button when the box at the bottom is the color you want. Click the X button to cancel the request. Input type equals range. This variation of the element displays as a slider. You specify the low end, min equals, and the high end, max equals, and an increment amount, step equals. You can also specify an initial value using value equals. The user can click or drag and drop the slider along the line. Example. Input, type equal range, min equal 1, max equal 100, step equal 1, value equals 50, name equal vote. Choose a number between 1 and 100. And it displays this way in Edge and UC, this way in Opera, and like this in Chrome, and this way in Firefox. For all of these, I found it to be very unsatisfactory. Although the user can slide or click the slider to any location in the line, there's no feedback to the user. What is the actual number chosen? So I added a simple on change event handler to provide this feedback. So you add a BR to start a new line in the same paragraph. Add text in this new line, current value is 50. To update the value, you need a way to identify this text. So I chose to use a span element with an ID. So current value is span, ID equals val 50 end span, end paragraph. And then on the input element, I added an on change event handler resulting in this code. Paragraph, input, type equal range, min equal 1, max equal 100, step equal 1, value equal 50, name equal vote. On change equals cur equals this dot value. Get element by ID val dot first child dot replace data 0 comma 3 comma cur. End of the on change handler, end of the start tag. Choose a number between 1 and 100, br. Parenthesis, current value is span, id equals val 50, end span, and paragraph. And this works like a champ. Watch how changing the slider is reflected in the current value. Input type equals hidden. This version of the input element is essentially a text element the user never sees. It's used to pass back data to the CGI, data not from the user, but data driven by the application.
This is not the same as the hidden attribute because non-control elements do not have a value to pass back. Only control elements have values to send to a CGI. Input type equals image. This can be a little misleading. An input element of type image really is just a submit button with an image on it. Other attributes that are useful for this, name equals, that's the name sent back to the CGI, you have to have it. SRC equals the source of the image, that's required. Alt equals text to display if the image is not displayable. And height and width of the image in pixels. These are optional. Note that value equal is ignored. Clicking an input element of type image sends back two numbers that indicate where on the image the user clicked. The names and values sent back are the element name underscore x and the element name underscore y, indicating the x axis and y axis within the image where the user clicked. Now you do not need to care about the x and y values if all you want to do is have a submit button with an interesting logo on it. The post method. For all the types of input elements available, the data sent back to the user is a plain text character string or a number, except for type equals file. Since the get method can handle plain text values just fine, you can use get for forms that have any type of input elements except for file. Except you may recall, the data are sent in the clear. This might be a security vulnerability unless you're using HTTPS instead of HTTP. File types can contain plain text, but the most interesting ones contain formatted text such as PDF or doc, audio, video, and more. Once you have an input of type equals file in your form, then you must use method equals post and enc type equals multipart slash form dash data. The submit process bundles all the data, files and text strings, into a single message file, and each part is separated by a boundary string that the browser constructs automatically. So the CGI can extract the values for all controls by breaking apart the message using the boundary string as a delimiter. Now, how to actually do this is discussed in the advanced course. But the supplied CGI simple underscore post underscore CGI dot PHP is a generic post handler that displays the values for non-file controls and the names for file controls. So you can use CGI's slash simple underscore post underscore CGI dot PHP for your action equal attribute in forms if you're allowed to run server-side CGI's. And I have no alternative CGI for handling post requests locally. In this session, we looked at additional types for the input element. File. We selected one or more files to upload. And we looked at the accept and multiple attributes. Color. Send a number indicating the color. Range. Choose a value along a slider along with min, max, and step attributes. Hidden. Send data the user cannot see nor change to the CGI. And image. Dress up your submit button, along with source, alt, height, and width attributes. We also got a high-level look at using the post method with a form. Coming up, in the next lesson, we explore how to validate the data that users enter into your forms. See you there. Thank you.